hey guys so today i'm going to be sharing with you my september tbr i am super excited for september um it's one of my favorite months it just is the um induction of fall and i love fall so much i can't wait to bake all of the fall things and have all of the fall drinks um like the starbucks drinks i love those um and i'm just really excited especially for cooler weather st louis has been so flippin hot it's unbearable it's like 90 degrees this whole week um but um i can't wait to read so many great books this month this coming month so the first book i want to talk about is shattered sea by katherine cowles um this is a small town romance um, that's coming out September 13th, I think, town, and I think a little bit of a thriller aspect. Um, but I really want to get into Katherine Cowell's books. I have a couple of her books, but just haven't read them yet. But there's definitely a hype around her right now, and I am living for that. I really want to read her books, so hopefully I can get to that this month and get a copy of it. The cover is so pretty. Um, and I love the alternate cover also. I might have to get both um, if I love the book. But I'm really excited for that one. And then um, also I'm kind of putting out Caution to the Wind by Gianna Darling. Um, I don't know when it's going to come out. Um, Gianna still doesn't have her Instagram or Facebook back where she can like use the accounts. Um, but she said when she is going to get those back she'll like release release it just then and there so i'm kind of putting it on for this month i don't know if it's going to happen or not i'm hoping i'm really dying for caution to win but i understand um why she's waiting um and that is a motorcycle romance book um it's the seventh book in the fallen men series um and i'm just dying to read it i'm so excited um, but I hope she can get everything figured out, um, because I think it's been a couple months since she, um, was, like, hacked and stuff, so I hope everything's going okay for her. I love Gianna. Her, um, birthday was just maybe, like, a week ago, um, and everybody, a lot of people did this video for her, um, doing, like, a message, and I thought it was so cute. But anyways, um, I'm really excited for that hoping that it might come out in September. And then I also have the Magnolia Park series on here. I read the first book um, for a reading vlog that you'll be seeing soon and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I was very intrigued and it kind of left off on a cliffhanger. So I really want to read the next books in the series. Um, the next book is about a different couple and then the third book is about the like first books couple so i'm really excited for that um it's this like toxic angsty romance series in like london high society um uh, but in like modern times and it's really really good i really liked it um and then for the books i have in like at here in my home library that i want to try to read this month is the bride goes rogue by joanna shoop this one is a um engage like they are engaged but it is a planned engagement like arranged engagement um and she kind of wants to marry him and he doesn't want to marry her i think it's hate to love um she's like very romantic and dreamy um and he's kind of like more grumpy and hard-headed um but i've heard really great things about this and i really really want to read this this month, I really love Joanna Shoup, um, so I can't wait to get to this one. Next book I want to talk about is Lover Mine by J.R. Ward. Um, this is John Matthews' book, and I love John Matthew with my whole heart. He's one of my favorite characters of the series. And I've waited like a good maybe seven books. I don't know if this is the seventh book. Um, what is this one called? Lover Mine. One, two, three four five six seven yeah a good seven books to get to this one um and the book before this one left off on a huge cliffhanger something really big happened that's going to pertain a lot to this story so i'm really excited to read this one um 
And then I have Fair Catch by Kenny Steiner. Because it's getting into football season and fall, um, I really wanted to read this one. This is a college football romance and our heroine is on the football team um, with the hero but it's like hate to love and they're also roommates um but i think he kind of helps her out on the field a little bit um and she just like doesn't want his help at all and i heard it's really really good so i'm really excited for this and i can't wait to read blindside i think it's what it's called um which is a fake dating romance i was just making sure it wasn't this one um a fake dating romance so i'm really excited for that and i really enjoy candy steiner's writing um so hopefully i can get to this one this month the next book i want to share with you is love on the brain by ali hazelwood um this is her newest release it just came out like august 23rd or something um this is a stem romance which means it's in stem and um i think the heroine is a professor or she does something in STEM. She does something with labs. Not quite sure. Um, and I think it's a hate to love romance with this other guy. Um, oh, she has to co-lead with the hero. I think they're going to get into some quarrels about that. Um, but I really loved the love hypothesis. Hypothesis. Um, so I'm really excited for this one and I heard it's super cutesy and fun so I can't wait to read this one. Um, the next, next book I want to share with you is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. Um, this one is supposed to be very emotional, kind of heart-wrenching. Our heroine um, just got out of jail. She um, hasn't seen her daughter I think in like five years. Um, she made a tragic mistake and she wants to reunite with her four-year-old daughter um, but people kind of get in the way of that and she meets this like bartender guy um, at the local bar and he kind of wants to help her out I think um, but the main reason why I want to read this is because I want to get into more Colleen Hoover's backlist um, because I really enjoy her books but I haven't read a lot of them so I really want to read a lot of them because I really like her writing so hopefully I can get to this one this month. And this cover is just so pretty. I found this one at Barnes & Noble. When I first ordered it, it was just like a plain um, cover. Like no raised text, no like pretty coloring. So I had to get this one. But this next book I want to share with you is Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. Um, this is the fourth and final book in the Twisted series. Um, I've had a weird time with this series. I tried to read the first book and didn't really like it <laughs> and then I read the second book and it, I thought it was better and then I read the third book but I kind of DNF'd it because um, I just wasn't in the mood for it at the time so now I got the fourth book because I go into the hype but I also love this cover and I'm really excited for this couple this is Christian and Stella and I think they might have like a fake relationship um, and he is like going through some stuff i don't know but I, I heard he's very jealous and possessive of her but not in like a bad way i think it's like you know a sexy way um so i'm really excited for this one i don't know too much about like the actual plot but um i'm i'm gonna buy into the hype and read this one and i'll tell you guys what i think at the end of september and the last book I wanted to share with you guys is Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. I put this one on here because I want to read, um, get into some thrillers for like fall slash spooky time. And this one, I think a documentary crew um, goes to the Mariana Trench mockumentary bringing to life ancient sea creatures of legends. Um... So I guess like this crew got lost there and then now this other crew is coming to see to like find out what happened and like validate like the work that they did but then they get lost and some stuff happens so I think it deals with like seawater creatures in like a cave or something um but I'm really excited to read this it sounds really good so I'm gonna try to read that this month and get into some thrillers but um for my tbrs i like to do like a guideline like these are the books that if i don't have anything to read i'll like go to those and like read those 
but if I kind of want to just mood read and re read what I want, I'll do that. Um, it's not like a strict, like, oh my gosh, this is my TBR. I have to stick to it 100%. Um, but I like having a TBR for guidelines. I'm definitely a moody reader, though. I can't just, like, plan out everything I'm going to read and, like, follow that strictly. I like to pick and choose what I'm in the mood for. But I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Um, and I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. And I will see you guys soon.